Welcome back to the Belt Off Podcast. Dylan, how's your diet going? The weight loss is going great. I feel amazing. And Michael has had a bit of viral success in the past, so let's take a look at it. That plump ear. Look at that thing. This is crazy. I can't even watch these. It's Oh my god, it's so crazy. Uh, this How was could you do when, that uh, to yourself? This was back when you only had 15 second Instagram clips too, by the way. So I had 15 seconds to do this. Oh, this got, what, what was it? 1.7 million views on YouTube back it then? Did, oh, man. Oh, man. That, Drained. That is... Drained. Empty. So crazy. And I've got needles in my locker if anybody needs them for their <laughs> ears. I always offer them to people. Uh, <laughs> I was going through the comments and one of them was like, that looked too easy for him. <laughs> I had done it quite a few times up to that point. Yeah. And in fact, I think I did it quite a few times before realizing like this would be popular online. <laughs> I should film this. <laughs> Like I, I got kicked in the ear um, in one of the jujitsu matches. Uh, I feel it. it. It's in there. I uh, this was a couple weeks ago. It was actually uh, Ryan when me and Ryan were rolling. Ryan uh, Valentine. Yeah, yeah. When he brought his, he was trying to bring his leg over, kicked me right in the head. I had a like a, it was bruised on the inside. And I have these like little nubs that I've picked up over the time, but I've yeah. never puffed out. Never blown it up. Yeah. Right. Whether it's like my ear folds and flops and just kind of rolls with everything. They say yeah. that it's like impacts that really do it. Right. But even with impacts, I've just, I've had bruising, but it, it's never Impacts puffed. or those real strong right. rubs, man. Like, like I got my first one when I was a white belt two months into jujitsu yeah. and it blew up uh, uh, doing no gi only. Because uh, all the time that I had spent wrestling, I wore headgear. Yeah. Right. So, you know, I never got it then. But yeah, within two months of training, I, I blew up my right ear. Okay. And now this one was my left ear. And this video was like two months after I got my black belt. Yeah. So it's as if, yeah. it's as if uh, when I started out, nature was like, you're halfway tough. <laughs> we'll make you halfway right two months in it's like all right thank you it's like i got a stripe from nature yeah um, and then it's like but wait till your black belt for the second one and that's yeah exactly got my black belt got my second cauliflower ear on uh, it's a badge of honor i've i've always expected to get some and like i said i have those little nubs if you feel but you can't see it you're gonna get it less if your game is different yeah. My game is wrestler heavy, or at least it was, you know, for the most part. It's been that for the majority of my career. Wrestler pressure heavy. I grind. I, I tell people that, that uh, you know, you have, you know, five limbs, including your, your head. Like your neck, from your neck up is a limb. Use it. Like yeah. I use my head like it's a weapon. Posting, you know, framing, Posting, everything. absolutely yeah. driving, especially finishing double legs. Your ear is hitting their hip, driving through. You know, but like you said, it only takes one good blast. I met, I remember running into a guy at Costco, big old ugly ear, and I was standing behind him in line. I was like, oh, "All right, man, where do you train?" And he's like, "Huh?" He literally didn't know what I was talking about. I was like, "Well, your ear." And he goes, "Oh, I I took a kickboxing class six years ago, one head kick." He goes, "I didn't even finish the class. I left because it was already blown up." He goes, "I never trained again." Like you said, <laughs> at that point, you have to stick with it. Yeah, you can't have be, that and not be good at yeah, kickboxing your jiu-jitsu. It's gonna be ugly. Yeah, man. Uh, let's talk about headgear. So the yeah. so, the soft headgear, I don't mind rolling with somebody, but if they have that hard plastic, they I, I've rolled with people who use it as a weapon. Like they pressure they, with. They it. literally are grinding that thing. If you're That's wearing kind of cheap, yeah. yeah. If you're wearing headgear, I get it. You're trying to keep your ears safe, but don't use it. Right. Exactly. It's kind of like if you're wearing a a, a cup. Yeah. And you're and you're right. getting that arm bar like to go on, on the, the side. on the yeah. cup to yep. you get that ultimate leverage, right? It's like yeah, you, you shouldn't necessarily use it. I get wearing it too, of yeah. course, but but to me it's uh it's you're you're gonna you're gonna get stuck in guillotines like that. It's hard to pop out of triangles yeah. and guillotines and whatnot when you're wearing headgear anyway. So it's I've never liked it. I've never liked training with somebody because it's a lot of them have like a hard plastic shell. Right. And yeah, no, totally. That thing starts banging on across your head or something when you're, it, it's rough. Right. And the reason why the person is wearing it is because they hurt their ears from banging their head yeah, on people. Yeah, exactly. And they're not going to stop doing that part. Yeah. So yeah. now they're just using, like you said, a, a basically a weapon. <laughs> now I'm at a higher risk of cuts and things because exactly, we've right. introduced plastic, which... Hard you know, plastic's not even allowed in competition for it, a reason. Yeah, mm -hmm. all of our training gear is soft. We've taken out all the zippers from 
all the training right, gear and right. buttons and everything. But here comes this dude with two giant <laughs> plastic <laughs> earmuffs on. Dude, right. uh, yeah. And then there was one other video uh, that you posted on Facebook. It went kind of crazy. Which um, one was pretty it? hilarious. Michael went oh, to a jiu-jitsu competition. This. Yeah, we didn't we didn't spend top dollar for our motel, not a hotel. But it came with great amenities. <laughs> yeah, check this out. Complimentary. Complimentary. Loaded. Fully loaded. That is insane. Fully loaded. <laughs> I mean, my my first thought was like <laughs> Like crackheads, like they do everything they can to get that. Why? Why did they just leave? No, that, that what happened. Was, that did they pass out? Something happened. They must have had. Did to they bail. die? <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I think somebody. I think it was just they forgot, right? And then they rem- when they remember, they were probably like, "No, where's my loaded <laughs> syringe?" Right? I couldn't believe when I saw that. Oh. I left it there for the next guy. <laughs> so two viral clips on needles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Too, yeah, the needles always go viral. No, you know, I th- I, what, what I thought you were going to show was one me and Jordan, because that one actually did like mm. two million views too. Did it really? Right. Yeah, yeah. the one with me, just me and him. There was, there was another one that I tried to find. The one that I was able to find on yours, it wouldn't load right, uh, okay. but it was you doing the circles on the ground. Oh, the, yeah. The I had a couple of those yeah. that really took off a long time ago. Yeah, yeah the warm-up drills, yeah. uh, the shrimps. Yeah, totally, man. Those are cool because uh, they're attainable for people, yeah. right? It's cool yeah. looking, and you look at it and you think, like that guy looks like a you know a worm or something, yeah. right? But you also know, like, okay, he's just shrimping. Right. Okay, yeah, you yeah. you can attain that. Those are the cool ones. And last week we were talking about what do you do for recovery, and you're like, uh, nothing. nothing. Well, that's recovery. Oh, I don't do that for recovery. <laughs> I do that for. For the views. <laughs> no, actually, no. We know, no. now now know the truth. Back then, that's why I did it. Because I, I, I remember there was a phase. I went through this kind of like what you're doing now, yeah. where it's like you care about social media and stuff. I, I left the phase. Yeah. But uh, but when I was doing it, yeah, I was trying to come up with cool videos. I did one on the beach that banged out too. It was just like a, kind of like um, a Hicks and Gracie thing where he was, you know, flow rolling on mm-hmm. the beach, essentially. I did the same thing, just kind of chained together some duck walks with some inverts, yeah. with some shrimp inverts, and that one took off, too. But the question is, were you in a bikini like the other videos? Was, <laughs> like, like what other videos? I, did, I posted you have no videos with bikinis. He's lying right now. <laughs> no, the, there's, on Instagram, it's like a whole thing of, like, uh, girls doing jujitsu on the beach in, like, the waves. Oh, goodness. And they're doing rolls and stuff, and it's like... They're wearing bikinis. What is... That's like, just... It's, it is ridiculous, but... Yeah. Man, it's so much easier to get views if you have a bikini on. Yeah, I don't know about you, but... <laughs> no, I don't, get, I don't get the extra views if I have a bikini, but yeah. I'm sure... Yeah, that stuff's annoying, right? All right, this next one... Uh, Super fascinating, interesting, and we're going to do a little commentary on it. Let's t- take a look at, uh, let's, oh, let's pull this, yeah. They're really fighting. Uh, yes, stuff, so this is full steel combat, so basically Holy it's like night shit. combat. Uh, real strikes, real armor, real everything. He Pe- just checked him in the chin with a, with a shield, bro. People get messed up. We, this is actually a pretty long video. It's like, it, we'll get into it. But yeah, let's break down some fights. So there's one-on-one style. There's one-on-one style, but there's also group where they get like 20 on 20. That's so insane. And it's just chaos. And it's not like these guys are really holding back. Now, there is referees and everything. It's sanctioned, uh, huh. kind of, I guess. I don't know how they're getting it sanctioned, but it's everywhere. It's what huge. are the rules? Uh, what can you not do? I have no idea. Uh, I, you'll see some pretty crazy things in these videos. Uh, I <laughs> think if you get knocked down, you win, or that ends. That, or, or that's you, how you score. Okay. Right. You score by knocking them down, because if you were to knock somebody down in full plate mail, they're Dead. Dude. <laughs> so, Dude. Let's watch some crazy stuff. Oh, that jab to the throat with your shield? And we'll get back to this one, but this is a little entrance to it, showing you what we're in for. Now, here's the first full match. Let's go. Who you got, bro? You've already seen this. I you have, I choose. have, you have not. I'm going with the. Uh... When we get a producer, I won't watch these either. What do we got? Red versus white chain? I'm going with the white. I don't know, Red's aggressive. Oh, 
red's a bit bigger too. Holy crap, dude, that's an axe. Yeah. <laughs> They're blunted, but still. They are oh. straight. <laughs> oh. He popped up too like a cat. He's like, let's go. So Just gotta stretch my hammy a little. One for the <laughs> one for the guy. So that's one point basically. Yep. Bro, that's an axe, dude. Can that well what if that if that pierces it? So there's regulations on what their plate mail has to be made out of. Holy and crap, the bro! <laughs> I knew you were gonna like. You're gonna this cut game. his wrist off, dude. <laughs> Holy crap, bro! Yeah, this is insanity. I went. I was watching these. On uh, one of them popped up on my TikTok, and I just went down a feed of these things. Oh my gosh. I'm stressing for these guys. Here we go. Big swing. Oh, you saw that technique? Yeah, that's just like what we do in the mace work. Yep. Mace spells. Oh! Crack. <laughs> Michael is getting into this. I feel like he's gonna die, dude. <laughs> oh, we got an underhook. I don't know if your underhook could. Yeah, there is inside grappling. trip. Yep, yep. Inside, inside trip for the W, and that's exactly what I was. That thinking. was my guy too. Yep. White chainmail. Let's go. Showing you these because there is grappling in these. You know they're full. Well, yeah, I mean one guy he threw his weapon down yep. and just started yep. pummeling. <laughs> it's one to one. Did he just nut shot him? I think it was in the hip. Oh. And he's down. <laughs> he hooked it into his armor and pulled him down. Yeah, no, they get they get clinch work going. They get the axe behind their head and good they start pulling down. This is a good one. Come on, white chainmail. There was oh a, yeah, a nice elbow there. Slashing. Time. Yeah. Two to one. <laughs> Next man. It's like the, the balls on these guys is ridiculous. I wonder what that impact feels like. Oh, like, you know, one of the commentaries was like, when these guys pull off their helmet, sometimes they're missing teeth, and yeah. Okay. Here we go, here we go, there's okay. the clinch. I like it. Here comes the Oh, knees. snap down with that. Oh! <laughs> let's go. Full knee plate now. Oh my gosh. And then the crack him in the dome on the way out. Oh, he knee. took a knee. Yep, that's it. That hurt? He gave up. So what, he hurt? He was hurt from the knees? Yeah, he gave up. Now we got pole arms uh, versus an axe. Oh, giant guy with a pole arm. Look at these shots. I don't know how they're standing. Buddy! That guy's got like a seven foot weapon though compared to <laughs> a his. A pole arm, yeah. Are they both what? Do they both have pole arms? One of them's got an axe, one of them's got a pole arm. Bro, the pole arm's got reach for days. It does, and the guy's way bigger. Oh my god. Is there <laughs> even a face cover on that guy? I think they have to. Okay, yeah. yeah. I think it's chainmail. Oh! <laughs> Slashed himself through. This guy's like Professor Sensei right here. <laughs> he's got the black with the red stripe. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he's a black belt. <laughs> Black belt messing people up with a pole arm. Look at them standing there all stoic. Yeah. Let's go, round two. This is some renaissance fair. It really is. This is like Stuff, real renaissance yeah. fair, yeah. <laughs> I used to go to that renaissance fair when I was a kid. Mm. They was look cool. I've never been to one. They are awesome, actually. Never got to dress up, but yeah. like, it's super cool. Was a round kick. Bro, what's your round kick going to do, dude? <laughs> to <pull> up. <laughs> I like the effort. Yeah, I mean he's I got cuts, it. but oh, yeah, dude, that big dude with the oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what was that Sotogari or something? Yeah. That was uh, dope. Yep. Sotogari. Yeah. Almost, I, I don't know if he hooked he the comes leg. Comes out with a front kick, just Crazy. blasting an axe to his head. We got oh, there you go. Axe and a sword. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. Axe for sword. What are they? What are they complaining about? There's something. To, oh, we're missing something. Something got into the. Holy arena. crap! Okay, what are these weapons now? My guy's got a sword. We got a sword and we got an axe. Get behind him. Back tripping. 
<laughs> Easy to say. Headlock. Uh, back trip. So who? Who? Who got the point? Reset. That was a reset. But they got 100 pounds worth of steel I on them. I know, dude. <laughs> the fact that they're moving at all is ridiculous. Look at this. Oh! Oh, did, oh he's out? Looks like it. Kneeling means you're you're done. That's like the white flag. Bro, he was yeah wobbly. He was woozy. Dude, dude, I could imagine like a compilation of like, highlights. Of this, this is that one that we insane. first saw. Oh, just stabbing him dude, with that the, that jab yeah. with the shield. I'm sorry, but that was like in the throat, dude. Head throw. Yeah, now you need help getting up with 100 pounds of steel on Right? You. Yeah, so insane, right? People are doing this stuff, and yeah. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine? No. <laughs> no, me neither. No. They're, full, they're fighting full on. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, exactly. This isn't like they're LARPing. This is actual combat. No, man. I don't know how the, the blade of the axe just doesn't just kill you, man. In now, the head, I don't care what you're wearing, man. Now, I don't know if these ones wow. are in the United States, but I know there are some organizations in the United States. Uh, but it's scaled down, the ones that I've seen like locally. Um, they're less armor, but everything's lighter, right? So their swords and everything, they're still hitting each other, but they're not full plate. These guys are in full plate. Like, this is That's the same thing times. they'd have worn back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. That's insanity, bud. Would you do it? No. 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 <laughs> I like my brain cells a no, little bit. No, I wouldn't do that, man. Yeah. Hell no. So you it's have pe people who think jujitsu is insane, and then you see something like this, and it's like, well, hey, we're maybe, mild. Maybe, maybe everybody's right. Maybe we're, we're mild. We're insane. Right. <laughs> right. Heck? But that's got to be a rush. Oh, I can imagine. Like, going into a UFC fight is one thing, but setting up I mean, for this i don't know though is a rush though i mean skydiving is a rush right like right. i don't know if the rush is going to describe <laughs> this because i've gone into an mma fight before and i wouldn't call that a rush mm. i'd call that scared shitless that's a rush that's a rush of emotion it's a different kind of rush um because i feel like i've also done some like zip line or something where yeah. you get like a rush yeah. of excitement yeah. not a rush of like like why? Did, why am I doing this? Yeah, well, <laughs> I doubt these guys are making any money, and there's no way. I doubt there's like a professional league for it. There's no way. So they're doing it because they love it, not because it's gonna pay the bills. I mean, Dana White went with slap boxing, bro. This he should have went with this. Went with this, dude. This would have been way better. I mean, what would y'all rather watch? Like, exactly. That slap boxing is box horrible. Yeah, it gets a bunch of clicks insane. and likes and all that, and that's why he went with it. But this is way better. It's in, insane, though. Yeah, yeah and I, I could imagine a twenty on twenty, you'd you'd end up with three dudes axing a guy on the ground. It's kind oh, of no, like, no. They they can't hit him once they're on the ground. once they're on okay. the ground. It's over. Yeah, once they <laughs> kneel down. But yeah, it's crazy. I didn't pull up any of those because it's a little easier to do commentary when it's one on one. Dude. But when it's twenty on twenty, it's just chaos happening. Well, you're sitting there about to start. You're like, okay, you see that guy's like seven feet tall. That's all three go axe him first, right? Like <laughs> one of them I saw the the big guy kind of like charge through the line. I think his objective was try to get to the back and start hitting the people from the back of the line. But he got swarmed. Just get some bodies on both sides. Yeah, but he got but he swarmed. Got swarmed. <laughs> there was like six guys on him <laughs> and yeah then they cornered him because it's like a, a bullpen here they right. have the the fencing and so he got ran to the corner and then three guys oh my were god just i mean i'd go face. to the corner too because you don't want him behind you i'd right. run my back in a corner and you can't see anything you got oh, little goodness, slits for dude. visors no just yeah. go down yeah that's insane yeah, we're, we're totally sane doing what we do compared to that. Fun to watch. I'm glad these people are doing it because it's great you know? entertainment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to get in a car wreck for us to slow down and look at. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you got to – it's a spectacle. Uh, and look at the crowd. There's only that many people there for that. Well, that's just their their friends and family. Ain't nobody right. there that doesn't – There's more know. people at a jiu-jitsu competition In than fact, that. no, those are all the competitors. Like, yeah, yeah. That's who you see at – so These they are things. definitely doing it because they love it. For sure. And the fans are the competitors. It's yeah. one of those sports. Yeah. 